Okay, this is just a brief uh, video about how to mod, do the basic mods for the Korg MS20M. Um, I'm not gonna like do all of the all of the standard mods. I'm just gonna do seven, um, and that's gonna use seven of the patch points. There, I think there's actually uh, eight you can do, but I'm gonna leave one of them off for the moment. Um, so yeah, just uh, got the um, MS20M open here, you can see, just taken off the bottom. And uh, I've already pulled out the black plugs here, um, and I've already chucked in a couple of sockets. Um, so I'll just show you very quickly what you need to do. So I actually ordered uh, 14 of these guys uh, for all of the sockets, even though I'm only going to be chucking in um, 7 of them today. Um, these are just mono 6.35mm um, uh, jack sockets. Um, yeah, so uh, the only thing to watch with these and um, there is, the, is the metal tabs and the width of these things, like my one's just about okay. Um, as you can see here, I've kind of rotated them so that the, um, the tabs don't touch each other when you've got them in, but yeah. Um, I think most of the standard ones should work, and if, you know, if, they, if you do find that it's a bit narrow, you can just grab some pliers and bend, bend these tabs inwards a bit. Um, all right. So just a quick overview of the points that I'm going to be chucking in. So uh, yeah, so here we've got high pass out, uh, revision two high pass out. We've got VCO two out. We've got VCO one out. We've got VCO one mod in. What else we got? Uh, revision one high pass out. Uh, revision one low pass out. Um, and up the top here we have um, what have we got there? Yeah, we've got revision two low pass out. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm not going to be doing the VCA one, which is over here. Um, and yeah, there's like, I mean, with the schematics um, of this, you could probably do heaps more uh, interesting and and crazy mods. But um, this is just like the, the starter, just to get people started, and then. Um, yeah, it'd be useful to hear of anybody else's um, uh, extended mods or anything else people have done, perhaps in the comments below. All right. Okay, now I'll uh, get on with it. So, um, yeah, in this video, I'm not going to go into sort of the details of soldering or anything like that. Um, I recommend you just sort of look up other how-to uh, videos uh, if you haven't had much soldering experience before. Um, this is a fairly basic um, piece of work, so pretty much even a beginner should be able to do this, do these mods. Um, but yeah, if you, if you haven't done any soldering before, then um, yeah, you're going to need to obviously get yourself an iron and some solder and some wire and um, check out some videos just about basic soldering before you uh, yeah, start melting your board basically. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, so for this, um, yeah, all I've done is taken, um, got two different color wires, and I'm just going to be um, just measuring out the various lengths to the different jacks, and um, yeah, cutting them, stripping the ends off, and soldering the two points. Like each one will have a ground and a um, signal, and they will go to different points on the jack so the tip will be the signal and the ring will be the um, ground um, actually with these it might actually be easier to thread them through first um, I do tend to tin my wires before but I think I'll probably just tin these ends and these ones will just chuck we'll just solder straight in here because once the solders on it's going to be a bit harder to bend so chuck them on here first so it's sort of wind it around a few times just so that it's kind of secure and then the other one
probably use some some pliers or something. Time to add a bit of solder. go, that should do. Um, and now I'm just going to tin the ends here. Yeah, one thing to remember, I guess, when you're soldering onto the PCB here is uh, try not to leave the iron sort of too long on here. You don't want to sort of damage too much. That's kind of also part of the reason why I'm tinning these beforehand, so I can just heat them up and hopefully they'll just uh, they'll just bond straight on. So let's have a look. So first ones first. Take the black wire onto the VCO mod ground, which is the lower one of these two. Just kind of heat up the pad. Might actually need to add a bit of solder to help heat it up. see that that one went in much nicer than the other one there we go bottom one doesn't seem to want to go through nicely like the top one do does but put a little bit more solder on so I've now wired up um, most most of the mods um, <clears throat> just the last one so pretty much yeah my experience with all of the patch points has been the same that the uh, the ground terminal has been quite hard, like I haven't managed to actually stick a wire through it, so basically the ground terminal I end up just uh, soldering to the top of it, whereas the actual signal um, pad, I can actually push the wire through it. So what I end up doing is cutting, cutting them, let's see if we can get this, yeah, so I cut the, uh, the ground terminal a bit shorter than the um, signal wire because um, I can push the uh, red one through the PCB and so get a nice solid contact whereas this one will just stay soldered onto the surface. I think it should be fine but yeah it's ideally would be great to get it to go through but I, I can't seem to get it to go through so um, I'm just going to do it like that which I think should be okay. Um, Alright so this is the last one which is the um, <coughs> high pass revision 2 out. So yeah I just uh, end up tinning both of these ends that are going onto the PCB and these ends I just wire straight onto the jack and then solder them there. That's sort of 
found to be the easiest process. Um, so far I've been attaching the wires first to this end, but probably doesn't make any difference really. Usually try and wrap the wire a bit around the terminal. You could probably use wires to do this. So if you've, it's a little bit fiddly. Lost my wire from the pliers. Just do it with my finger. Try and make sure not to melt the other wires in the process. Tips of these wires. And what I've been doing is just adding a tiny bit of solder to the um, to the pads, just to help melt them because they are they're a bit tough. Yeah, as you can see, the ground is always just a little bit tougher for some reason. It seems like it might be blocked or something. Let's see. Just try and heat it up. Add a tiny bit more solder. The iron might need to be a tiny bit hotter. There we go, so that's just soldered to the top. And you'll see here that um, it's tiny bit closer. Hopefully you can see that this one will actually slide through. I'll try and keep the ground out of the way. And you can see that goes in really easily. Okay, <clears throat> and we're done.